Hey everyone, it is the start of March. The snow has finally melted and if you are looking for the latest real estate numbers, finding out what's happening in Portland, Oregon's real estate market, you have come to the right place. And boy, do I have some exciting, interesting, surprising numbers to show you today. I am Alex Roy, your trusted realtor with John L. Scott Real Estate, working in North and East Side, Portland. Here are some great numbers for you. Let's check this out. Today, the areas I'm looking at specifically are North Portland, Northeast Portland, Southeast, Milwaukee, Happy Valley, and looking at luxury property over in West Portland. And not just playing the price game this time, not just showing average home sales prices. I got a lot more data for each area. What I'm gonna be doing, and I'm gonna throw this up on the big screen there, uh, is looking at this graphic that is generated by our own John L. Scott uh, real estate data uh, search that I can set up for you. If you want, I can set up uh, a search on any specific area of town, no matter how large or how small, small you want that to be, super hyper local or very broad picture. And at the start of every month, you're gonna get all this excellent data to your email box. So if you want that, just shoot me an email in the comments, tell me the area you wanna watch for, and I will set that up for you. But what you'll see in this graphic is uh, for each area, we're looking at how many new listings came on in the market in February and how many went pending. And that's really going to show us the buyer activity and how much inventory we have. What is, what is the real estate market activity looking like? And aside from just a couple, one thing that we're noticing, and North Portland's a great example, the number of pending homes uh, pending sales is outpacing the new properties coming on the market and so buyers are out there, they're active and they are buying up not only what is coming on the market but also that backlog of inventory that's been hanging around since December and January looking really good for the health of our market. And so what happened in North Portland? 44 pending, 35 new listings. That is down from the activity that was there in January, kind of down significantly. And that, you know, there's a lot of randomness in real estate. Uh, I can't point to that being uh, of any major cause. Just happens to be that there was more sales and pendings in January than in February. But one uh, good thing that's interesting to look at is the average price of those new listings that came onto the market and the average price of those that went pending because we can have some high uh, number, uh, you know, high price point sales, like maybe some multifamily plexes that are included in there, that can skew this average up. So I'm gonna keep pointing to the median price number. And in both of those, it was uh, 480 for the new listings coming on. And actually the price, uh, uh, median price of the ones that went pending was even a little bit more, 489.9. And both of those relatively unchanged from January, but up slightly. So good activity up in North Portland. Let's jump on over to Milwaukee now. Once again, number of pending sales outpacing the new listings, you know, right on par there. And that's putting this strongly in a seller's market. There is competition out there for buyers that are writing offers on good homes that are priced well. Any house that's coming onto the market right now that's coming on at an appropriate price, not being overpriced, it is getting major interest. A listing of mine just uh, a week and a half ago had six offers on it, looking around at other comp comps, talking to other realtors, and with buyers I'm working with that we're writing on, lots of other listing, getting four, five, six offers on that opening weekend. Down in Milwaukee, even higher median uh, price of listing and going pending at 520 and 525. So looking good and healthy down there. And their activity had definitely picked up uh, from January, but prices holding very steady, not dropping. Anyone who is thinking that there was gonna be a complete uh, bubble burst and crash of the housing market, that has not transpired. As we're seeing with these numbers here, it kind of looks like we've already hit our low point on price of homes and now they're holding steady and starting to come back up slightly. That is what the data is showing us. Let's take a look over here now at Southeast Portland. Southeast Portland, obviously a lot larger area than North Portland and, uh, or North Portland and Milwaukee. It extends all through the inner Southeast to the outer Southeast. And so just a whole lot larger numbers, but look at that more pending than we have of the new listings and of those median prices, 489.5 and 450. 
The, the median on the new listings coming on the market is a little bit higher than those of that went pending. People are still looking for some deals, but looking really good. Good health there, prices holding steady. Up to Northeast Portland, uh, you know, a little bit less than what was happening in Southeast Portland. And this is the first one that we're seeing where there were fewer pendings than there were new listings. Obviously, just a, just a few more, just a few more new listings in that area that worked out that way. But they definitely have higher median numbers than we saw in the Southeast at the new listing median price being 580,900. Uh, $580, and then the median for those that went pending is right at the 550 mark. Looking good, good health. Prices up very slightly from last month, basically holding steady activity down just slightly from the month before. Out to Happy Valley, second one where we're seeing fewer pendings than there were new listings coming on, but those number of pendings up significantly from January. So folks that are looking out in Happy Valley, there wasn't a whole lot in January. Big increase here in uh, February looking out that way. Highest median price that we've seen from all these areas, Happy Valley, higher median price than North Portland, Northeast, Southeast, and Milwaukee area of the new listings coming on, 596. And for those that went pending, it is a medium right around uh, 600, though there was a high one there of uh, uh, 2.3 million. There are some big high priced homes in that area and that uh, may be skewing our numbers up slightly. These prices, down slightly from January. So prices bumping around a little bit in that Happy Valley area. And then to jump out over to the west side uh, to our luxury sales out there, obviously much higher price point numbers, highest new listing over there on that west side, 4.8 million. And so our medians uh, of new listings was just a little over 1 million and uh, medians of those that went pending right square at 1 million. New listings, basically on par with the pendings, down slightly from January. Looks like there was more listed up in January than there was in February, but the pending numbers are up. Very good to see. All right, so that's what's happening right now uh, when we look back at what happened in February compared to what happened in January of 2023. But let's compare to where, how this compares to exactly the same time last year in 2022. As you know, if you're following some of my other videos and we're paying attention to the real estate market in 2022, we had a real surge starting right in January of buyer activity increasing, homes coming on the market, people being aware that interest rates were going to go up that year. So there was just a lot of activity and it was already cranking by January, February. So now after having that big price correction in the back half of 2022, how do we compare February 2023 to February 2022? Let's, I'm just gonna look at two areas here, Southeast Portland, Northeast Portland. Let's start with Southeast Portland. Here's the 2023 numbers that we just saw. And now put up on this side, our 2022 numbers. Look at that. Mount of inventory, big, big point is that, and we see this in all the areas, we got fewer new listings coming on and fewer pending sales. But, Look at that, pending sales outpacing the new listings in that area, and that's gonna have an effect on driving prices up. That wasn't the case last year, it was pretty much on par, or right around, right around that uh, uh, same area, those two being comparable. But this is what really blew my mind comparing this year to last year. We knew that inventory was down and activity was down, still seller's market, but it was down from the year before. But look at the median price. Last year, Median price in Southeast Portland, 480 for the new listings coming on, 460 for those that got purchased and got pending. We look over here, new listings coming on, 489. So sellers are still trying to push the price and that's having an effect on the pending here. The median pending was 450, only down 10,000 from where we were at this time last year. So once again, if People, I hear people uh, last year talking about how there was gonna be this massive collapse of the housing market. You see it on some uh, YouTube channels that are looking at uh, real estate uh, nationally, not local realtors, but ones talking from other areas of the country saying that there was gonna be a total housing crash. That has not borne out. Housing prices have not totally collapsed. They, there's been a small pricing correction. They've come down 
and it looks from some of this data that we've already hit that low point and we're stabilizing and starting to come back up. That Southeast Portland, Northeast Portland ends up being kind of a, an interesting story there as well. There's our 2023 and here we are February 2022 to compare much more activity last year than there was this year. But when we look at those median numbers uh, this year, 580 and 550 on the new listing and pending. And over here, 525 and 542. 542 for the median pending last year, 549, 550 for the pending this year. We're even higher this year than we were at February last year. That, that surprised me. That really blew my mind. Knowing that we had that price correction all of last year, numbers are already back up. Now that may sound a little disheartening to uh, buyers that are out there that wanna get into the game. One thing I will give you hope buyers uh, when you're, you're feeling apprehensive about getting out there is that number one, if you are a first time home buyer, there are some really amazing first time home buyer programs out there, whether it is for a better interest rate or helping with that down payment assistance, you just need to talk to some great local lenders that really understand the first time home buyer uh, programs that are available from all the different levels, whether it's city, county, or on state level, or from different institutions. You need to have a conversation. You might be very surprised in what you actually can afford out there on the market. And for sell, and also note that there is less buyer activity than there was last year. So even though we do have fewer listings, new listings coming on, there's still uh, inventory of backlog homes that are out there, homes that have been sitting a little bit longer and may be willing to uh, accept an offer that's below list price. There's opportunities out there for buyers. First thing to do is to chat with a lender. And if you want some great lender recommendations, just shoot me an email or a text uh, that's uh, in the description of this video and I've got some great lenders for you to work with. Uh, and for sellers, hey, this is nothing but good news for sellers who may have been worried that their property had lost a significant amount of market value since last year. These numbers are showing not so. Maybe a little bit, but certainly not significant and certainly doing just as well as 2021. So to sum it up, let's just take a quick look at where we are with listing volume across all of Portland, Oregon. Looking at the long view, uh, here we are, uh, January, July, January, July, January, July, and here we are looking at January 2023. Yeah, we're down, but we are down the same way we are with all of these seasonal cycles. And if sellers and when sellers do recognize that they can good, get a good price from their home, they can have a good successful listing with a good agent representing them, giving them good advice on how to get their home ready for a listing and get it out there and get the best value for it, we're going to see those inventory numbers come back up and uh, see a lot more choices for buyers. And when you're out there looking for homes, what is uh, the majority of what's available? And certainly what are buyers looking at? Because this is the price distribution of sold homes in Portland. We see the majority of the activity of buyers is in this three to 400 range. And second to that is the four to 500 range. And third, the five to 600 range. Lots of homes across all these areas in those price ranges, but in some of the areas, if we're looking at close in Southeast Portland, close in Northeast Portland, you're not finding many of these. So what I ask buyers to do is be realistic about your location choice. Um, one of the best pieces of advice I've ever felt that I've ever been able to give buyers is that there are three major aspects when you're looking for a home uh, that you're really considering is trying to find the right type of house, you know, maybe it's three bedroom, two bathroom with a garage, large backyard, you know, looking at those details, those aspects of the house, finding the right house and the location. You want a specific location and third, the right price, price that works for you, price that you're happy with or the budget that you've set. When you are searching for home, the only way you're going to be, uh, you know, have success and be happy with your success is if you're willing to compromise on one of these three. One of those three is going to get compromised. And if you're willing to accept that right up front and know that, you know what, 
maybe to find the right house at the right price, I gotta go over to this location, or hey, if I wanna have that location at the right price, I gotta compromise on the house. You get your mind wrapped around that, you can have really great success in finding a purchase that works good for you in that way. That's all the details that I got for you today <laughs> and for March 2023. I am Alex Roy, trusted realtor with John L. Scott Real Estate, working with buyers and sellers out there across East Side, Portland, Milwaukee, North Portland. If you want more information, more data, more uh, advice on how to get started on your home search or start getting your home ready to sell, give me a call, text, or go to my website and schedule an appointment with me. I'm Alex Roy, working hard for your success.